No one does a summer festival better than the Twin Cities. We're just getting started on that season. Yes, we are. We're working for the weekend this morning and have a look at events happening around town. St. Paul's first rite of summer, grand old days. Yes, days plural this year because the annual tradition has been expanded from one to two days. On Saturday and Sunday, thousands will flock to Grand Avenue to take in 150 food vendors, beer gardens, and live music. This year, the event spans 30 blocks. Don't miss the parade Sunday at 9.30. A big celebration is planned for the 50th anniversary of the Edina Art Fair. Once a small book and art fair, it now features more than 300 artists from around the world. This year, enjoy music and food later into the evening as part of the big celebration. Grab the special free house number 50, handcrafted to celebrate the Edina community. The art fair is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you're shopping at Mall of America this weekend, swing by the Rotunda to grab a glass of lemonade and help a good cause. The 12th annual Minnesota Alex's Lemonade Stand raises money for childhood cancer research. The lemonade stand and silent auction is Sunday from 11 to 4. Lots of good stuff going on this weekend. We have a few more picks to pass along. Uh, Colin Jost, who I think is very, very funny, has a, a little bit of a stretch where he'll be at Acme Comedy Company in Minneapolis. So he has a show tonight at 8, then two shows Friday and Saturday. Might know him from Saturday Night Live. 22 bucks, is it? Yeah, he does uh, his weekend update. Yep. Oh, my favorite. Oh, so funny. Yep. All right, so uh, my pick is the Great Minnesota Uke Gathering. This is at El Rancho Manana in Richmond. It's about 20 miles away from St. Cloud. If you like ukulele right. or uh, you want to learn, uh -huh. you should check this out. 20 okay. bucks huh. gets you a single day pass. 60 bucks gets you the whole weekend. That's so cool. So there's going to be workshops. There's going to be sing-alongs. And do they, they provide the ukulele? Well, it's it's BYOU. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I think you can probably get one there if you would like. But like people go up there and camp out and then just play sure. ukulele so for fun. three days. That sounds like a great weekend. Well, and that's where Kylie and I went for going to the lake last summer was Richmond. Oh, that's right. So okay. uh, yep. if you can get on a pontoon because it's also the home of the pontoon. Mm -hmm. Did you see any ukuleles no, while we you were there? I don't believe so. The, it wasn't the right time of year for the gotcha. ukulele season. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We have a few more picks to pass along. If you're looking to fill out your weekend, Allie has picked the Rivertown Art Festival at Lowell Park in Stillwater. This is Saturday from 10 till 5, Sunday from 10 till 4. It's free to check out. Should be a nice weekend out in Stillwater. Absolutely. Ashley picked the St. Paul Summer Beer Fest. It's at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds on Saturday. It goes from 2 until 5. Those tickets range from 45 to 55 bucks, but I bet you get a lot of beer with that ticket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you get your money's worth for sure. So, so 